weeks ago it was tighter in Iowa. Now you're ahead by a little more. Why do you think that is? Well, I think that Ted Cruz has been severely affected by uh, the Goldman Sachs loans, which he didn't disclose, and it was on his personal financial form, and the Citibank loans he didn't disclose. Couldn't that have just been a mistake? No, uh, it could have been, but it's, you know, two loans, give me a break, okay? And he's supposed to be Robin Hood for everybody. He didn't disclose them because he didn't want to say that he's dealing with the bankers. Don't forget, he said he sold his assets. But I think much more important is this whole fact that he was born in Canada. And he was a citizen of Canada until 15 months ago. And there is much law right now, and a lot of constitutional lawyers are coming out. Lawrence Tribe is uh, sort of middle ground. In other words, he says it's untested. But there are many lawyers coming out, top constitutional lawyers, that Ted Cruz cannot run for president. He can't be president because of the fact he was born in Canada. I think that has a huge effect. At your rallies, you say things, and I talk to people who attend your rallies, and they like that you are uncompromising. I also talk to Washington insiders, some lawmakers, who are... Uh, overcoming their skepticism about you by thinking he's going to compromise, he's going to make deals in Washington. Which one is right? I think everyone's right. I mean, honestly, I think they're both right. I'm a tough guy to make a deal with. I'm a deal maker, but we have to make deals. You know, it's sort of funny. When I see Ted Cruz standing in the Senate and nobody else is with him, he's standing all by himself, and you've got all of these other politicians, senators, and congressmen generally, and he's trying to get, he's by himself. It's wonderful, and I can understand how a radio show host could say, oh, isn't that wonderful? You're not going to get anything done. You've got to be able to get things done. You know, Ted doesn't have an endorsement from one United States senator. But he'd say that's great, because as you it's have bad. said, no, no, you've bad. said such terrible things about them in Washington. Why would you want sure, endorsements from but you've got to have, they're not bad people. They're, a lot of them are very good people, and some are people that won't get it done. I mean, the recent budget that was passed is a horror show. I mean, it should have never been passed, et cetera, et cetera. But when Ted doesn't have one senator, like a Mike Lee, who's a very conservative guy, good guy. Why isn't he getting these endorsements? And then I get the endorsements from Sarah Palin, and I get the endorsements from Jerry Falwell Jr., and I get, you know, I have incredible, even Sheriff Joe endorsed me. That means I'm the best on the border. But those are not senators. Those are outside no, no, Washington but, type. But still, they're very important people and very important. As an example, uh, Sheriff Joe, Arizona, Joe Arpaio. toughest guy, he endorsed Trump. You know what that means? I'm toughest on the border. <laughs>